Talk about those uh, fire conditions and its effect on air quality right now. You've got that yeah. for us, Kelly. Yes, that's right. And we are getting some fires around here in the valley and around the state, but air quality still looking okay at this point. Some areas near Klamath Falls getting some more impact from fires down in California and also on the east sides of the state, but only seeing the moderate category there. There is an air quality alert in place for this region, though, where at any point we could see more smoke pushing in from upper level winds. So that air quality could change. But in Portland, we've been in the greens here. We're seeing good air and healthy air to be outside for all. So hopefully we keep that going into today and we'll keep that updated for you as we move forward. If anything changes, you may notice here there is some smoke out. Here's a wildfire map. You can see there are some fires around the state here and the smoke in the air. We are seeing just some minimal impact now. That smoke is very high up in the atmosphere, so just some hazy conditions, especially looking out towards the east sides around Portland and the valley. So you may notice that outside, but still looking at blue skies and lots of sunshine. And the cause for our recent fires has been thunderstorm and dry lightning from those developed thunderstorms. So again, that threat out there through today, mainly for the evening hours and mostly for the corner of Northeast Oregon near Pendleton. I think we could see some pop up thunderstorms this later evening. So again, those could produce some dry lightning and gusty winds to spark fires and spread them rapidly. So we'll have to watch that moving forward. In terms of anything going on now, really not seeing much. It's pretty sunny outside Again, some instability and some action out towards areas of Idaho. But again, tonight we'll be watching for those areas near Pendleton heading into this evening for some more storms. Blue skies over Portland, a little hazy from our coin tower cameras, but a beautiful afternoon nonetheless as we head into our lunchtime now. Stoller Winery, some nice clouds under blue skies. Seaside also looking at some gorgeous conditions along the coast. We've cleared those clouds out, so it's just a nice afternoon and we're warming up here. Low 80s out towards Salem and Eugene and further down the valley. The Dow's also warming up here. We're seeing temperatures in the upper 80s to mid 90s already and a lot of heat expected in this region as we head our way towards uh, the afternoon today and also tomorrow. There is an excessive heat warning in place. Uh, for those regions. So here's our heat tally again in Portland. We've seen average highs this month around 80 degrees and two days in the triple digits. Salem and Eugene on average have been warmer throughout the afternoons, but only one triple digit day in Salem, none for Eugene, but again, a good number of days in the 90s and 80s. So it has been fairly warm here in July. Again, there's that excessive heat warning. You can see the Dalles out towards Pendleton today through tomorrow. We are expecting that heat where temperatures could reach to about 105 degrees. Same goes for uh, down near Bend and Madras too in central Oregon. So a lot of heat, especially on the east sides of the mountains today out towards the beaches, the 60s to about the uh, low 70s out towards Tillamook and up and down the valley mid to low 90s again. So it's going to be a hot afternoon. We'll avoid the triple digits here in Portland, but again, the 90s at least through Thursday. Come the weekend, a little bit cooler. We'll see temperatures in the mid 80s with a few more clouds on Saturday. We'll be right back.